Hello everyone, I'm back with my Chuan Hai 12 again. This time I'll be testing out some Coral programs. I wanted to test out PaintShop Pro because it was where my digital art journey began many years ago. In fact, back then PaintShop Pro, or PSP was the common name given to it, was owned by Jazz Software before Coral took over in 2004. During this new ownership of PaintShop Pro, my high school decided to ditch it and get a school license for Photoshop. Even though I still own PSP at home, I wasn't able to carry on any stuff that I made on it in school anymore, so I made a move to Photoshop as well. Besides PaintShop Pro, Coral do a couple of other arty programs, so I'm going to cover them all in one video rather than three separate videos. I've downloaded trail versions of PaintShop Pro 2018, Coral Painter 2018 and Coral Draw Graphics Suit 2017. PaintShop Pro seems to be the least well looked after program out of the three. I could tell from the download stage. For the first 50% of the way, the installer told me it's going to take over 99 hours to download and it claims to be downloading at 0 kilobytes per second. Yet the percentage mark was increasing at an acceptable rate considering I was uploading the iPhone SE unboxing video and the kids were running YouTube on the TV. Then after 50%, the installer started having a fit. After it got to 100%, the installer closed and then a dialog box appeared stating download had failed because there's no internet connection. However, it was blatantly lying because the setup folder was downloaded and was sitting on the desktop. I downloaded Coral Painter and Coral Draw in the same manner and under the same circumstances as PaintShop Pro, but without all the funny business PaintShop Pro went through. The program itself takes a minute to load up. But what's worse is that everything in the program seems to run in slow motion, and I'm not talking about just the brush strokes. Even things like switching the tools takes a couple of seconds. I'm using an A4 canvas at 300 dpi and at 100% zoom. The brush strokes have some serious lag, but when I zoomed out to draw, there was still some lag but it was a lot less than when it was at 100% view. Touch gesture only seems to work for zooming in and out of the canvas. I couldn't make the canvas rotate using touch. The zooming transition is slow and choppy. Pressure levels on here was strange. You'll notice the pressure levels at first didn't work at all. But then while I was adding pink blush to the acorn doodle, the pressure levels start to work again. I've been testing out PSP for two days and I've noticed the pressure level sometimes works and sometimes doesn't and it's very random and I have no idea why it does that. Bottom line is, PSP doesn't work well at all on the Chuai Hai 12. Out of the three Coral programs I'm testing today, Painter takes the longest to load. When I first loaded Painter, I had no pressure levels and just like PSP, each brush stroke would lag. I had to head into the preference settings and in the tablet section select real time stylus and windows multi touch options. Then close and reopen painter to make the changes take place. After that I had working pressure levels and drawing was almost flag free. Touch gestures for both zoom and rotation worked, however it's really not smooth, yet it's sufficient enough to work with. I also notice the program has a small lag when switching tools. All in all, Painter performs slightly better than PSP on the Chuai, but I still wouldn't recommend it. Moving on to Coral Draw. This is a vector based program, it's kind of like the Coral version of Adobe Illustrator. In comparison to PSP and Painter, Coral Draw loads up the quickest. It's part of the Coral Draw graphics suit which includes some other programs like Coral Photo Paint and Coral Capture and a couple of others. The touch gesture for zooming was somewhat random. Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. I couldn't rotate the canvas at all using touch and also found no rotation button in the toolbar so I'm not sure if there is a feature to rotate the canvas in Coral Draw at all. Drawing strokes was nice and fast with almost no lag. In Painter and PSP, I experienced some lag when switching tools, but with Coral Draw, it was sometimes laggy when switching tools, and sometimes it was fast and lag free. I couldn't figure out why it did sometimes lag and sometimes didn't. In general, Coral Draw is the most usable program out of the three that I've tested on the Chuai Hai 12. It runs fairly smoothly, except for the occasional hiccups, such as touch gesture for zoom not always working. 
Coral Draw reminds me of Illustrator a lot. However, I couldn't get pressure levels to work with Illustrator on this Chuai. So maybe Coral Draw is a good alternative to Illustrator for Chuai High 12 users. Since Coral Draw is a vector based program, the strokes have minimal jitter. Of course, you'll need gloves when drawing since palm rejection is pretty non existent. I quite like the live sketch feature on here, and I'm pretty sure with some practice I could make some clean line art using live sketch. Before I wrap up this video, please excuse my vector drawing talents as they are next to atrocious. I work in raster mostly, so make very quick strokes, whereas in programs like Illustrator and Coral Draw, drawing slower makes line work look better. I'm just not good at drawing slow. This acorn looked much better on paper. I think my next performance review will look at Blender, which is another 3D program that got requested. So until then, bye!